everybody. Welcome to Automation Vita. Today we're going to cover how to use our automated desktop to extract data from a web page and loop through that data to find a value that you're looking for and then uh, taking action on it. So we'll go ahead and get started here. Uh, we have a simple table on this web page here. And uh, for this particular case, we would like to extract this data loop through it and find a country called, let's say Cuba, and uh, have it display a value uh, population in 2020. Show us what was the population of Cuba in 2020. So let's go and get started. So um, we'll start by opening up, launching uh, Microsoft Edge. And we're going to have it uh, navigate to that website, fully maximized. Next step we're going to take, we're going to go ahead and tell it to extract that data. And um, extracting uh, is very simple. You open that, navigate to that page, and you'll open this little window that will then allow you to select information that you would like to extract. Uh, as you'll see, I'll move my mouse around and highlight certain things that you can extract. So in this case, we'll extract the value of uh, country. Um, and to get it to do what I want it to do, I'm going to tell it to extract each value here. I'm going to say I also want the country. I'm sorry, the population of the country and the land area of the country and the density of the country. And you can see that it's actually showing me right here that it's going to be extracting all this data, which is great. So we'll go and click finish there. And uh, we're going to be extracting that into the variable called data from web page. We'll click save there and we'll go and give it a go and see what it does now. So it should be opening a browser and navigating that particular page and then it should simply stop so we'll go ahead and take a look right there and you can see that it did in fact open a uh, web, web page and extracted 195 rows of information so next step is now to loop through that information and look for uh, country Cuba and then have it tell us what the population of Cuba was in 2020. So to loop through that information, we'll simply use loops action and tell it to start, um, start from zero. So we're going to start at uh, zero. And we're going to end at uh, data rows count, which will be basically the 195 rows. So it will be value of 195 and we're going to increment by one. So we're going to start about at uh, row zero and then one, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth. And um, it's going to be increasing that uh, variable by uh, one each time it goes to the loop. So now we have our loop. Uh, the next thing we want to do is give a, a condition there's a couple of different ways of doing this. Uh, I will do it a particular way here. So I'm going to put a condition if in here. And I'm going to say that I want to look through the data from web page variable and have it uh, Uh, look at the uh, each row and tell me I'm going to find Scuba. So basically what I'm doing here is telling it look through each row loop index basically increases by one number each time. So zero, one, two, three, four, five and uh, zero here indicates that I would like to get a column zero which should be the country name so as long as the country name equals q 
Zuba. I want you to go ahead and uh, show me that population. So when I'm working on my um, flows within Power Automate desktop, I like to use uh, message boxes to uh, find what I need. So we will go ahead and um, have it uh, tell us the population here. So we'll say population of Cuba in 2020. And uh, we'll say, uh, Uh, population in Cuba in 2020 was and then we'll say well we would like that information from the data web page and uh, we're gonna get that from loop index so when it finds that row and then grab it from a uh, column one which should be the country we'll do that so let's go ahead and uh, we'll also go ahead and stop the flow right there and it finds that uh, value for us so we're opening the web page navigating to that website extracting the data telling it to loop to each row when it finds the row that it equals cuba go ahead and tell me that so we'll go ahead and hit run And there it is, as you can see, it came up and uh, found the country Cuba and said the uh, population in 2020 was uh, 11, 3, 20, 6, 6, 16. So let's see if that's correct. And that is correct. So if I click OK, it's going to go ahead and um, stop the flow. Um, so to make this uh, complete flow we'll go ahead and close the browser at the same time before we stop the flow and that sort of completes our flow right there it's very simple opening the web page now so opening the browser navigating to that web page extracting it looping through that uh, data and saying for every row, this loop index was gonna to change to zero, one, two, three, four, five. In the column zero, if you see the country Cuba, then do this action. And here we're basically saying that this uh, uh, message box will tell us that when the message when the it finds country cuba it's going to show us the value of column one which is basically the population uh so there you go that's uh the lesson for today thank you all very much for watching